Russia has threatened a missile strike on Strasbourg if Ukraine is allowed to fire Western weapons at Russian territory. This was stated by the State Duma Speaker Vyacheslav Volodin, commenting on the news that the European Parliament called for lifting restrictions on Ukraine's strikes on Russian territory. If this happens, Russia will give a tough response using more powerful weapons. No one should have any illusions about this. The State Duma insists on this, Volodin said. Moreover, the Russian politician asked two public questions to the MEPs. He wondered whether they had consulted voters before voting on this decision and whether Europeans wanted war to come to their home. Before making such a decision, we should have remembered the lessons of World War II. Then, 27 million Soviet citizens died in the fight against fascism. It was our country that liberated you and all of Europe. The only thing the European Parliament should do after such a statement is to dissolve itself. For reference, the Sarmat missile's flight time to Strasbourg is 3 minutes and 20 seconds, Volodin added. Recall the European Parliament has called on EU member states to lift existing restrictions that prevent Ukraine from using Western weapons systems to destroy legitimate military targets in Russia. According to the EP website, the corresponding resolution was supported by 425 European deputies, 63 abstained and 131 were against. The text of the resolution states that without lifting the current restrictions, Ukraine cannot fully exercise its right to self-defense and remains vulnerable to attacks on its civilian population and infrastructure. The European Parliament stressed that insufficient supplies of ammunition and restrictions on their use create a risk that previous efforts will be nullified. MEPs also expressed regret over the reduction in bilateral military aid to Ukraine from EU countries. MEPs reiterated their call on EU member states to fulfill their commitments made in March 2023 to provide Ukraine with 1 million shells and to speed up the supply of weapons and air defense systems, including German Taurus missiles. In addition, the EP reiterated its position that all EU countries and NATO allies must collectively and individually commit to annually allocating at least 0.25% of their GDP for military support to Ukraine. Artillery shells sold by Indian arms makers are being diverted to Ukraine by European buyers, with New Delhi not intervening to stop the trade despite protests from Moscow. The transfer of ammunition to support Ukraine's defense has been going on for more than a year, Reuters reports, citing Indian and European government and defense officials and an analysis of customs data. However, Indian government and defense industry sources told Reuters that Delhi produced only a very small amount of the ammunition used by Ukraine, with one official estimating it was less than 1% of the total arms Kiev imported since the war. Among the European countries that send Indian ammunition to Ukraine are Italy and the Czech Republic, according to a Spanish and a senior Indian official, as well as a former top manager of Yantra India, a state-owned company whose ammunition is used by Ukraine. Indian officials and defense industry representatives said India was monitoring the situation but had taken no action to restrict supplies to Europe. Delhi, long the world's largest arms importer, also sees the prolonged war in Europe as an opportunity to boost its nascent arms export sector. Indian sources say Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh had earlier said defence exports exceeded $2.5 billion in the last financial year and that Delhi wants to increase them to around $6 billion by 2029. Meanwhile, Reuters reports that customs records show that in the two years before Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, three major Indian ammunition makers, Yantra, Munitions India and Kalyani Strategic Systems, exported $2.8 million worth of ammunition components to Italy and the Czech Republic, as well as Spain and Slovenia, where defense contractors have invested heavily in Ukraine's supply chains. And from February 2022 to July 2024, this figure rose to $135.25 million, including finished ammunition, which India began exporting to four countries. The Kremlin has raised the issue at least twice, including during a July meeting between Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and his Indian counterpart, three Indian officials said. 
Lavrov pressed his counterpart about Indian ammunition used by the Ukrainians, complaining that some of it was made by state-owned Indian companies, according to an Indian official with direct knowledge of the meeting. 